this is Professor Murray Gans from the Eastfield College Ant Lab. Eastfield College is located in Mesquite, Texas and is part of the Dallas County Community College District. The Ant Lab is doing research to determine which species of ants live in several counties near our college. We are very interested in ants from Rockwall, Collin, Kaufman, and Ellis counties because very little is known about which ants live there. Now this is a really big job. These four Texas counties cover almost 3,000 square miles, so we can't do this by ourselves. That is why I need you to become ant scientists and work with your teachers to collect ants on your schoolyard and send them to my lab. So now I'm going to show you how to collect ants. And I've got two students with me to help you. So let me introduce them to you. First of all, this is Arian Rios. Say hello. Hey. What's up? <laughs> and next is, <laughs> next is Danny Lamb. Hi there. We catch ants using hot dogs as bait. The piece of hot dog is placed on the end of the marker flag, which is then stuck in the ground, put in a bush, or hung on a tree. The marker flag serves two purposes. First, it will make it easy to see where you set your bait. Second, it will allow you to keep a safe distance from the ants, which will be concentrating on that hot dog. Now all you have to do is wait about 30 minutes, come back and check your bait. It's okay to leave the bait out longer if you want to, but 30 minutes is probably enough. All right, so we set these baits out about an hour ago, and so you can see we've got all kinds of ants uh, on this bait. And these ants are actually fire ants. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is show you some of the behavior of these ants, because when I disturb these ants, they're gonna, they're gonna run, and they're not gonna come attack me. They're gonna try to get away from me. So I'm gonna tweak this, and they're, they're, gonna, they're gonna panic. So you can see they're, they're trying to get away. So that means if I pick up the ants by the, by the flag, I shouldn't have any trouble with them coming for me. They should be going away from me. Okay, so Danny's gonna show you how to collect these ants without getting stung. So first of all, you're gonna put about two centimeters of regular rubbing alcohol into a cup. You're gonna set the cup down. So Danny's gonna now grab the survey flag and he's gonna quickly tap the ants off of the flag into the alcohol. Excellent. Now I usually give the uh, ants a reward and leave them the hot dog so they can eat that when they're through. So go ahead and wipe that hot dog off that survey flag. You'll notice that his hands are way far away from that hot dog at all times. All right, so Danny, let's see what, uh, what ants we got here. So you can see now we've got our ants and the alcohol. The alcohol serves two purposes. It's going to kill the ants, and it's also going to preserve them so we can get a better look at them. So now you can take these ants back into your classroom and look at them up close. To an ant, you are a giant, a creature more than a thousand times taller than they are. When you pick up the marker flag, the ants are going to run away from you. If the ants get confused and run towards you, just puff them off the flag or just drop it, whatever works. This is real science. So what my lab needs, in addition to the ants, is when and where you collected them. I need to know the name of your school, your teacher's name, the date, the time of day, where you placed your flag, like in the grass or on a sidewalk, and what the weather was. Is it sunny? Was it partly cloudy? What was the temperature? Now mail your ants and your data back to the ant lab. Once I receive your ants, I'll send your teacher an email. Then my students and I will get busy and identify those ants. Once we have them identified, I'll send your class pictures of the ants that we take with our microscopes. I would also be happy to Skype with your class to show you my lab and answer any questions you might have. Many, many thanks for your help with this research, and I can hardly wait to see which ants live on your campus. This is Professor Murray Gans saying goodbye from the Eastfield College Ant Lab.